In this tutorial, I'm going to go over some basics of Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing is the workspace that I'm using. I'm using the Essentials workspace where I have tools on the left, and I have properties, libraries, and layers on the right, as well as a line and our swatch is how we pick our colors. Now, there are many other panels and many other tools that you can use, and you can access them in various ways. Uh, but to get your workspace to look like this, if it does not already, you go to Windows, Workspace, and choose Essentials. If it still doesn't look this way, you can click Reset Essentials. You can also choose custom panels that you want to see here, and uh, choose which tools and other things like that you want on the left here. So with that Essentials set, it should hopefully look like this. You can also change your workspace by clicking on this little icon and again, choosing all of the different kind of preset options here. You can also, of course, make your own. And then next to the workspace setting is a little light bulb icon and that you can click and you can go back and try a bunch of different tutorials to help you learn how to use Illustrator and those can be very nice. Now, Illustrator is a program used to create vector graphics, and vector graphics are made by connecting vectors and line segments together, so anchor points and lines and curves. And we're going to be starting out in Illustrator mostly using basic shapes and modifying them in different ways. So our basic shapes are located right here. I have the ellipse showing, but if I had a different shape, you would see whatever shape was selected. And we have four basic shapes that we can make as well as line segments. So I'm going to go ahead and start by making a rectangle. And if I make a rectangle, uh, usually it will be default to a white fill and a black stroke. So I'm just going to reset that. And I make it, and I can make a rectangle. If I hold the shift key as I'm drawing a rectangle, I will make a perfect square. Now I have to make sure that I let go of my mouse before I let go of the shift key so that I actually get this perfect square. Similarly with the ellipse, I can draw any size ellipse. I can also draw a perfect circle by holding the shift key. Now with the polygon and the stars, you have an option to make three or more sides or three and more points, and it will probably default to a certain number three or five points, so I can make a triangle. I can also, if I just click and let go, I can change the number of sides so that I have a polygon with more sides. And once I have that, I can go ahead and grab one of these corner points here and change its size or hold a shift key to keep it constant. Same thing with the triangle. If I don't want it to be quite so equilateral, I can change it so it is taller or shorter or so I can kind of modify it after the fact. So now that I have these shapes, I can move them around by grabbing that center circle point. I can make them larger by grabbing a corner point or skinnier by grabbing one of these control points and changing it. And I see I lost that triangle there and I have some other basic options for these shapes that I can access on my properties panel here. So first I have to select a shape and when I select a shape I can then First thing I probably want to do is change its appearance. I can change the fill color by clicking on that white square and changing the fill color here. These are preset options that you can change later on. I can also make the shape have no fill by clicking the white square with the red line through it, and that would actually let me see that triangle behind. But in this case, I'm going to keep it yellow. And I might also want to change the stroke color or the stroke width. And I can change the stroke width by clicking these up and down arrows or by selecting different point values in that drop down menu. Now I might also want to change the order of these shapes and I can do that in a couple of ways. Uh, the easiest way is to go to the arrange quick action also in the properties panel and say I might want to send it to the back so I can then see these other shapes in front and then I can start modifying these other shapes. Now many controls you can access in many other ways like I can right click the circle and say arrange, send backward, 
right click, arrange, send backward until it's in the position that I want it to be in. Uh, so that's also viable for arranging those. And then if I wanted to move these shapes, I can move them. And I, you notice that there are all these other cyan or blue lines appearing, and those lines help me line up the shape with other shapes so that now this edge of the circle is in line with this edge of this square. So that's basic Illustrator workspace and working with, with shapes. And we can get more involved with working in shapes, but that will get you started.